Hello, this is Cute Fussy Weasel, and welcome to another Weasel vlog. Specifically, welcome to the second Weasel Q&A. Now, before we start, I'd like to answer question zero. When is the next Feeding the Trolls? I do apologize for my absence the past month. Something pretty bad came up, and I'll be talking about it in a new series of videos I call the BSOD Saga. But barring any unforeseen circumstances, the new Feeding the Trolls should be up by Wednesday. That is, you know, nothing, assuming nothing comes up, nothing takes my time away from doing the video, no force comes and crushes the studio or anything, assuming nothing happens, I should have it up by Wednesday. Again, assuming nothing happens. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the Q&A started. I've got the, uh, got the questions all printed out right here. Got my D&D Dice Roller app, and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, put in the number of questions I've got. I'm gonna tell it to select a number at random, and whatever number it lands on will be the question I'm answering. So with all that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to roll. 38. Let's see, 38. Do you play, actually it's written do question mark. Do you play WoW? If so, what class and race is your favorite? I, I don't play WoW. I don't have the internet connection to play WoW. I guess if I did though, I, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know a whole lot about WoW. I guess an archer? Next question. 19, 19, Let's see. Hey, cute fuzzy weasel. I want to know what made you choose pizza as your intro food for feeding the trolls. Well, that's actually a, a really good question because it has to do with me. Actually, it has to do with pizza, which isn't me. I'm not even a big fan of pizza. But why I chose it is actually interesting. Uh, when I was coming up with the uh, opener for the uh, the first season, I wanted to have I don't know, I wanted to have a stack of boxes, something. It could have been anything, but just like a big stack of something. And I wanted to light it on fire. At the uh, college that I go to, they were having a, a kind of um, a holiday meal thing, and the SGA set it up as they, they had pizza and pumpkin pie and ew. They don't go together. But I offered to take all the pizza boxes offhand, and they had a, they, they ordered like, 20, 30 of them. So I took them home and originally what I wanted to do with them was I wanted to cover them in gasoline and then have it like explode like a big fireball. But by the time I actually got around to setting up the camera, the gasoline had kind of dissipated so I didn't get a big whoosh. I got more of a kind of a rushing fiery thing. It sort of fell over, but I, I figured it was just lame enough to have in the opening. And eventually, it, apparently, it worked out. Since then, it's just, you know, been pizza. Next question. Nine. Question nine. Do you make? He has a question mark there. Do you make any money on these videos? Yeah. I mean, I monetized. Funny story about the monetization thing. Originally, I didn't want to do it because I don't really like commercials in front of YouTube videos, especially that fucking Briars commercial. Could they have butchered that song anymore? In, in the contract you sign, you can't really say how much you make, but you can find it all out on Social Blade. Well, okay, you can't exactly find it out because Social Blade isn't the most accurate of websites, but you know, it's, um, it's, it's an amount, you know, it's, it's, not really why I do the videos, although it does help. I'm greedy. What do you want? <laughs> I, I was just kidding. I I do them either way. Um, anyway, that's that's uh, hopefully that answers your question, whoever you are. I'm gonna eventually start putting the usernames down. All right. So question number four, I think. Let's go ahead and see. Twenty-three. Oh, this is a long one. Do you know that Monkey Game Guides isn't from England? He's Australian because he showed where he lived in one of his videos saying that he lives in London. But, question mark in front of the but, but knowing what a Australian mainland town looks like, I can strongly say that he doesn't live in London or England, somewhere in the state of Queensland or Western Australia. I, 
I guess I never thought about it. I'm not from Australia, so I, I wouldn't be able to pick out the differences in the town. So, to answer your question, no. Question number five. 15. Did you know Monkey Game Guides is... Uh, it's it's uh, capitalized. So it's, did you know Monkey Game Guides is actually a capital, you know, all caps, BRONY? Uh, no, I... I didn't know that either, and honestly, I don't care. I don't care if someone's a brony. In fact, I don't really care about bronies in general. Honestly, so long as they're not trying to push it on me, we're fine, we're, we're good. All right, so question number six, 40. Go over to 40. How long do you wait to cut your hair. I wait till it's uncomfortable. Question number seven. 10. Where'd you get the name Cute Fuzzy Weasel? I've always wondered. Ah, that's that's also a, a, uh, an interesting question. I, back when I started the channel back in 07, I actually didn't have any idea I'd do any of this. In fact, the very first video I ever put up was of us, uh, dragging a tree down it, it had it had fallen onto another tree and we had wrapped a rope around it and we're just dragging it down with the truck that was the very first video i put up i have no idea what happened to it and you know i i wanted to make youtube videos because i like doing video editing and acting and stuff and then for a while there i wanted to do uh, movie reviews and i still want to do movie reviews i just had to push that to the side a little bit to do other things like real life. But to answer your question, I originally called myself Cute Fuzzy Weasel because it was actually a kind of a ploy to get video views. See, I figured, uh, you know, everyone had names like, like Dark Eye Cider or Jane Johnson 1257 six and everyone had numbers in their name and i didn't want numbers in my username but i figured everyone's gonna run into like a jonah 164 or a 161 guilty fire but someone runs across a username cute fuzzy weasel i mean they'll they'll remember it or at least i thought they would remember it it would stick with them how right i was on that i don't know in fact that's a question i want to ask you is cute fuzzy weasel a memorable name if so post it in the comments below question number shit um eight i think this is question eight question number eight two another question uh, uh, uh. it's it's another question and then an apostrophe and then a, a question mark so Another question, hmm? Another question. You obviously like movies, but what hobby, hobbies do you have? Good question. Um, I like to garden and I do 3D modeling and I also run a tabletop game whenever I can because I really like running tabletop games, tabletop role-playing games. And uh, what else do I do? I like building rockets in Kerbel's space program, and, uh... It's pretty much it. I mean, this is my hobby. This is my main hobby. This is what I do. And I enjoy it, so the... I, I hope that answers your question. Question number nine. One. For feeding the trolls, will you do Magical Paki Usaki again? Uh, no. Magical Paki Usaki was old news when I did her the first time. Now she's like, it's like digging up a fossil. And I don't really feel like going after fossils. I mean, I did her once, everyone thought it was funny, and unless there's a big community thing where people constantly come up and tell me, you know, you gotta do Magical Paki Usaki. I, I don't really wanna do Magical Paki Usaki again. Now that doesn't mean I wouldn't do old videos. I mean, I do old videos, it just means I already did her. I don't really want to, you know, again. Question number 10. 20. Question number 20. Have you ever played any Castlevania games? I'm a big fan of you and that series, and I wanted to know your opinion on it. No, I've never played any Castlevania game. I grew up on a PC. I didn't really grow up on an NES or any kind of game system. So, really, 
Like, no. Like, I've never played a Castlevania game. I'm not even at a friend's house. I mean, I've played Devil May Cry, but that's... I mean, I, I don't even know if those are comparable, but I guess if if I had to choose, I I don't know. I've never played it. So, no, I've never played Castlevania. But I understand it's a really good game series. So, that's my opinion. Question number 11. 37. 11, 37. That rhymes. What do you do for a living? For the question mark. For, y you know the drill by now. I'm a freelance editor and actor. Although I've not gotten paid for acting, I have gotten paid for editing and camera work and grip work. I'm, I'm basically, I work in movies. Not a whole lot because I'm also still a student and I'm an independent game developer, kinda. I'm still working on the core elements. So I guess that's something to say. I'm, I'm an independent game developer. I'm making a computer game. Soon one day. Number 12. Number 12. Fucking phone. Okay, here we go. Number 12. Seven. Question or Q. Can you do a quick walkthrough of your process in making a feeding? The trolls? Uh... Sure. Well, first, obviously, I've got to find the troll, and that can take either, I mean, that can take like an afternoon or an entire week, depending on the caliber I'm looking for. Sometimes I go out of my way to just, like, find a political troll, and sometimes I just kind of stumble upon people. A good one that I stumbled on was, uh, well, Monkey Game Guides. I stumbled on Monkey Game Guides. That was the first one. So when I do find them, I have to watch the video a few times to get my points right, and I have to, like, memorize them, because the show is not, there are no scripts unless I'm doing, like, a bit with somebody like if I have a friend come in and we do an exchange that's scripted but the actual feeding itself I, I don't script what I do is I uh, I have a chair right here uh, the chair that I used to use before I started standing and I put my laptop down on it and I just play the video and when I when I think of something I stop the video and hit play on the camera and I and I say it and, you know, I, I do a couple of takes of it, and there's there's a lot of stuff that I say for an episode that never gets into the episode. So after all the filming's done, you know, I put it in the computer and I edit it linearly. I don't skip around and put stuff together. That doesn't really work out for me. And I render it, and then I find a good day, normally a Wednesday or sometime on the weekend, to go and upload it at a friend's house because my internet sucks and I can't really upload things here. So anyway, I hope that answers your question and uh crap, I can't remember what question we're on. Uh it's it's 12. This would be 12. So this next one's 13, I think. So question 13 is 13. Hot, hot damn. You said that North Carolina is home to some of the best wine on the planet. Anything that you'd recommend? Unless you meant home to some of the best wine on the planet, in which case, please disregard this question. Well, yeah, I, I did say some of the best wine, but I'll give you an example. Uh, Iron Gate. Iron Gate's pretty good. Question 14. Damn it. Question 14. 21. Question 21. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show wow that's a hard one because i don't really watch tv i mean i do watch tv but it's like something in the background so it's not really quiet all the time um but something that i watch but uh something that i watch a lot like south park south park's one of my favorites and uh mst3k when it was on that was definitely one of my favorites in fact i'd say that's my favorite tv show ever but aside from that i guess mythbusters is my favorite question 15 49 i don't have a 49 six what inspired you to do feeding the trolls wow that that is a long story and i guess it's fitting as the last question so i'm gonna go ahead and put this over here what inspired me to do feeding the trolls um well, I, I guess having a really bad day inspired me to do Feeding the Trolls. There's a spider over there. It's enormous. 
and it looks like it's being attacked by another spider. It is being attacked by another spider. Oh, man. Jeez. Man, if I wasn't filming, I'd take the camera off and show you guys what's going on right now. It's horrible. There's like five spiders piled on each other, and they're all fighting. And they just tore one guy in half. So what inspired me to do Feeding the Trolls? Well, okay, it all started with a really bad day. Basically, back in 2011... Uh, hi, Rachel. Back in 2011... Uh, I, uh, it was, it was near the end of the school, it was near the end of the semester, and I had, I had just, like, I think I bombed on something. I'm not entirely sure, uh, oh yeah, I remember my laptop, the laptop that I was using at the time crapped out, so I was using this tiny little Atom laptop thing, and it was a crappy laptop, like, like it had, a, like, a 1.5... I think I think it was measuring its its uh, its processor power in megahertz, which you know nowadays is like what the fuck. I was just sitting there watching this thing, just struggle with like five minute videos. You know, I was just getting really pissed off because this shit wasn't going right that day. But the one thing that kept my mind off of just the stuff that was going on was video games. In particular, uh, Skyrim, which was new at the time, and I was really digging Skyrim. So I was looking for Skyrim videos because I wanted to find Easter eggs and stuff. Then I came across Monkey Game Guides, and here is this little asshole dissing Skyrim for, like, no fucking reason. And I was, I was just fed up. I was pissed off. It's just a video I put together. I mean, I thought, you know what? Fuck you. I'll make a reply. And I've heard the old saying, you know, you're not supposed to feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. And I figured, fuck it. I'm gonna feed the fucking troll. So I did, like, a quick video. It wasn't even edited right because at the beginning, there's like this pause in the first part of the beginning where I'm waiting and I forgot to cut that out. So I sat down and I made the video and I was like, there. I just uploaded it. So I guess if you want to know what inspired me to make the videos, it was just being really, really pissed off at the right moment. Anyway, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and if you have any questions you want me to answer, put them in the comments below. And like I said, barring any unusual circumstances, I'm going to try to get the next Feeding the Trolls up around Wednesday. I'm really, you know, cross your fingers, but I'm really going to try and hit that mark, and I'm going to try and put a lot of videos out this week just because, you know, I haven't been active the past month and I'm really sorry, just shit happened.